Good morning, everyone. I welcome you all to such a powerful session that we are looking forward to. And it's my pleasure, my friend, to be here and moderate this session with our distinguished panelist. We are talking about today, my friend, the new course launch that Liba has done. That is the postgraduate program in international finance with public accounting. So if you are thinking about this, if you are thinking about knowing more about this and rolling about the course, stay there. Buckle up your belt. Stay on your seat. We are going to have a roller coaster ride, my friend, and we will know much and anything and everything about this this course. So should we go on? Yes, sir. Alrighty. To have the detailed discussion, my friend, on this course, I have my eminent panelists with me, and it is pleasure, my friend, to share the stage with them. I would like to welcome all of you for joining me over here, and I'm sure the discussion that we would have would be very fruitful to the student fraternity at large. To introduce all of the panelists, my friend, I have, you know, along with me, uh, Professor M. J. Xavier on our panel and who doesn't know him? He needs no introduction. You know, he is the Associate Dean for LIBA for the Center of Technology Innovation. Professor Xavier comes with the varied experiences and this is something you should certainly circle off and know that he comes up with an experience in the industry and of course he comes up with an academic experience with which is something to be really relished. He comes up with the various laureates, my friend, to his credit and we'll talk on that in a while. With his experiences in India and outside India in the academics, he has been there in the forefront in terms of dealing with many of the courses that you would have seen and you would see as you may go forward. And not to forget, he is a renowned author also, my friend, and I have not forgotten his book, which you may have also read, which is in relation to the marketing, and that is Marketing in the New Millennium. You should certainly go and circle that and check that out. All right. Not to miss out, my friend, Professor has also have various, uh, I would say, awards or excellences to his credit. And some of the things to quote over here that I really like to mention over here is he is the most motivating faculty for I am. He got the Chanakya Award for Innovation. He got the MIT Excellence Award. He is a simple, simple and a very smart laureate to the, to the student fraternity at large. It's a privilege, sir, to have you here. You. And we really look forward to a very fruitful discussion. Thank you. I would also like to introduce Dr. You know, Kishor Kunal over here. Sir is an associate dean with LIBA, online education initiatives and projects. Dr. Kishore also somewhat somewhere needs no introduction, my friend, when it comes to the area of artificial intelligence and machine learning. That is an upcoming, upcoming fever of not only the season, but the century, my friend, and you should certainly, certainly look forward to that. All right. Now, he brings an exceptional brand of, you know, corporate and the academic mindset which is really helping students understand the real life nuances as to what the technology is really bringing on as a change to the businesses, to the industry at large. And he really adds a very different value since he comes up with a very different experience onto that parallels. He also brings a very niche perspective on various modern era topics like the edtech, like the cryptocurrencies and whatnot. And I'm sure you would have seen some of his researches also on this, wherein he has really commented and really complimented things that are really going around in the world. I welcome, sir. I welcome you on the panel. We really look forward. I also have with me Mr. Azib Thayebi today, uh, the Director of International Business Development for Becker Professional Education US, an organization that is completely dedicated on to the finance and accounts. And so does Mr. Thayebi. You know, his contribution to the industry is not unseen. We all understand, we all know what kind of effort he has been taking all along in order to ensure that student really gets what they really need. I do want to, you know, talk on uh, some of his uh, certifications that, that, you know, he has really been working with. You know, he has been very instrumental with various professional education platforms in terms of, you know, bringing those to reality for the student fraternity. He has also represented various international forums. Some of them I really want to name over here is the UK Trade and Industry, which is UKTI, the International Federation of Accountants, the IFAC, and I'm sure if anyone is thinking about going international, IFAC is something you should be certainly looking forward to. And of course, UK Federation of, of European Accountants, that is, you know, FEE, and many more. We welcome you, sir. We welcome you, and we really want this to be to be taking up a very, very different level of discussion for the students who really, really relish that. Thank you very much. I would also like to welcome Mr. Christian Mishra over here, 
the, who is the country head for the international business at the Becker Professional Education US and is responsible for the market development in India and of course in the South Asia. He is the versatile professional and I can really vouch for it personally also because I have seen various his you know various publications that he has has written and of course has been throwing in to, onto the social media. He has been awarded as one of the top hundred global leaders in the field of education, which is something to be really, really proud of. He is also an avid writer and speaker. And I'm sure, you know, when he'll speak and of course he'll come up with his practical real life examples, you would get to know about it. And you can always see his insightful thoughts in various national and international forums also, my friend. If you have not seen, just go and YouTube it. You'll get to know. We welcome Christian. It's a privilege, my friend, to have you here. It's a privilege for us to, you know, have all of you here. Thank you. Sir. But before I really move forward and start the proceedings and really take this to the level that we really want, I really want to cite out and, and share that, you know, why I'm playing the role of the moderator today. Just to share something about me, you know, my name is Pankaj Singra and uh, I'm a, you know, finance professional working in various industries, be it the IT, ITS, financial services or consulting. I've, I've tasted the colors and of course tasted the organizations of all of the colors and of course, you know, uh, have gone through the finance fraternity at large in all of these organizations. One of the aspects that I have always seen and I have always worked with is the, in the area of international finance and public accounting. And that's what really motivated me to be here and uncover this niche course and uncover the questions that I have that you may have on this course so that we can really uncover and understand as to what is really lying for us and what is there in store for us so that if we really have to go forward with it, we can really make a wise decision for ourselves. That is the reason, my friend, I wanted to be here and ask all the panelists what all questions I had. So should we go and get in on this? Alrighty. So let's start with the first question, Professor, and this is for you, Professor Xavier, that I have. Um, and this, I'm sure, you know, many of the students would certainly have in their mind, and so does me, that what is the vision behind, you know, creating such a program, which, of course, inculcate uh, both the domains, which is like international finance and public accounting. What is the vision, mission, or whatever you want to call it, behind creating this program? Uh, sure, Pankaj. To look at it in uh, recent years, the financial landscape has been experiencing huge uh, tectonic shifts. It's mainly due to you know disruptive technologies, expansion of global trade and the rise of you know, borderless commerce on platforms. So in this kind of a scenario, we need international finance experts who can deal with the financial aspects of international trade, foreign exchange of currencies, and investment in uh, foreign countries. This program, what we have actually visualized on international finance and public accounting, is aimed at you know, promoting economic uh, growth and development understanding the global economy and uh, making informed decisions about uh, international trade and investment. Also, there are many job opportunities, you know, that are uh, opening up in the international finance area. This program will prepare you for jobs like international trade specialist, international finance manager, international economist, international financial analyst, foreign exchange trader, international tax specialist, etc., etc. Of course, there are many more. You can become a public accountant, internal auditor, management accountant, uh, financial analyst, government accountant, forensic accountant, etc. Why this program then? So there are huge opportunities. Jobs are opening up. So we thought, you know, we should prepare Indian students. Indians are also preferred all over the world for these kind of jobs. So we wanted to build you know, strong analytic skills, expertise in international accounting standards, knowledge of international trade and investment, strong communication skills, knowledge of uh, international tax laws, cultural awareness, flexibility and adaptability. All these things are needed you know, if you want to exploit these kind of emerging opportunities. So we have designed this program you know, keeping mid-level finance and accounting professionals in mind. See, our idea is to prepare you for the huge opportunities that are opening up in the domestic as well as, you know, global corporations. So, those, you know, not only mid-level 
finance managers, but even anyone who is passionate about finance, who wants to achieve something in the field of finance, will also benefit by joining this program. That's precisely, you know, the vision behind the whole thing. And that's a very holistic vision. Mm -hmm. And I have one complaint with you, you know, Professor, mm -hmm. that where were you when I was doing my graduation? Why didn't this course <laughs> didn't come <laughs> at that point in time? You know, this is something I, <laughs> I, I, I really wanted to happen and of course want to I happen. Know. But I Professor, know. this is not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Having said that, extending yeah. the same thought and mm -hmm. same question, and this is, you know, uh, for you, Mr. Thirvi, that uh, I just... Uh, I just want to extend this from the Liba to the Becker, saying that, you know, of course, Liba came up with the thought and of course, you know, um, Professor has mentioned a lot about, you know, what has really gone behind the course. But what is really motivating Becker to really, you know, look forward and, uh, you know, come together and, you know, taking this course to the level that we're aspiring for? Pankaj, that's a welcome question from a Becker perspective. As you well know, Becker has been involved in the accounting profession, learning and education in the accounting profession for over 60 years. And we've had the good fortune of having a number of high-class institutions all across the world, professional education institutions, higher education institutions, working with Becker to incorporate the professional accounting qualifications into their curriculum. But the reason why we're here with Lieber is because Liba themselves are known throughout the world, not just in India, for their innovation, what they bring extra, added value they bring to their students, and across the whole education industry. So being able to tap into that innovation with this program, which I absolutely do, and I know you put so much work in yourself, Pankaj, but also the team here, and of course our colleagues at Becker, standout programs that Becker already does across the world. And I would just add one thing to what Professor Xavier said earlier in terms of this program and who it's aimed for. People can do professional qualifications, CPA qualifications in various formats, and they're doing it. People do leadership programs. They do the best leadership programs as they're here, finance leadership management programs that are already here at LIBA. What this program is for is for those aspirants who want to be future finance accounting leaders. Not just mm. being a finance professional or a, or a superb CPA with domain knowledge, technical knowledge, some of those items that you already mentioned, Professor Xavier. Mm. This is about somebody who's going to be at the top of the table in their profession, at the top of their table in their organization, making the decisions and having the knowledge the technical accounting knowledge, but also wrapped around with the solid managerial skills, leadership skills, which, as we all know in this day and age, is what sets apart a finance professional from a finance leader. Your CFOs, your partners, your directors, they're the ones that people, you know, not only employees, but investors, all, all stakeholders put their faith, if you like, in those business leaders, finance leaders. And that's what this program is for. And it's for very much for those mid-level mid finance professionals who are already into their careers. But as I said, it's for those individuals who aspire to be those decision makers and leaders. And what it will enable you to do, we're confident about this, that this is going to accelerate and elevate your career. From wherever it is now, whether you're just studying, finishing your degrees, whether you're in that mid-tier level that Dr. Uh, Professor Xavier talked about, or even above that, what this is going to do is accelerate that career wherever it is now. So that's the reason why we're here today. We are very honored that Lieber put faith in us, um, and we hope to deliver on that. We, we are committed to deliver on that, and we are more importantly, Lieber, Becker, the work of Fintram, we're absolutely confident what this is going to deliver for you. And that's the most important thing. And who will not vouch for CPA with Becker? I am a student of Becker. I was a student of Becker. And I'm still a student of Becker. I can completely vouch it myself for that. And to the folks who are moving out of the room, if you're not thinking about elevating your career and, of course, achieving the heights that you can, 
then you are not doing justice to yourself. Come, my friend, come here. You have a lot to hear. We are really, really gearing up. All right. I have one question for you, Dr. Kunal. Uh, and this is more to unlayer, if I may say that, for the lack of better word of, you know, on this program. Uh, what would a candidate or an aspirant would expect as far as the career advancement is concerned after completing this program? What would that be? Who are specialized in finance, have sound presentation and analytical skills, but they lack the solid uh, fundamentals of accounting. And whereas uh, accounting professionals such as CPA, CAs have a very sound understanding of the concepts, but they lack the business touch. So this course will uh, give the concept, the understanding of the concepts and how they are going to the technical aspects of the accounting as well as the business acumen. Because uh, what we find in the CPA uh, course and the CA course, that was not breezing part of the corporate and coming from the corporate, we understand that what is required and what is sellable in the corporate. So it is a complete package for those who want to become a top finance uh, professional and uh, being a part of Liva wide uh, alumni network, you can get the alumni because we are imparting this management education from the last four decades, like uh, our bakers from six decades. So that's a marriage point. And uh, uh, career advancement in terms of pay and uh, this uh, promotion and recognition. So that's why it's sort of MBA, money before anything, you can just say. Okay. So finally, money is the part. And uh, uniquely de designed with program with conceptual rigor along with the industry relevance. So you have to earn here US CPA qualification post clearing the exams, Leva exams. And incubation support and the placement hand holding support is provided by ours with our effort. Leva Bakers and Printram is there to assist. We are uh, not telling you that uh, that job placement. We are not a placement company, but we will assist you. We will facilitate you so that uh, industry will pick you from X to Y. And it is guaranteed that if you have this, uh, definitely we will get it. Thanks. Oh yes, and and coming from the corporate background. If you get the best of both the worlds, if you get the best of accounting and also best of management, who can beat you, my friend, in the industry? Who can beat you? You are certainly going to be having edge to your lefts, to your rights, to your front, to your back. Just, just believe in yourself and look forward to hearing more and more on this. All right. So I have next, next question coming up for, for you, Christian. And this is more to, uh, there is more to understand about CPS qualification for the students who may not be that much aware and want to know more about this. How does the public accounting course or a CPA for that matter can help aspirant in the future of finance? How would that be? Thank you, Pankaj, for asking me this wonderful question. Talking about the CPA qualification, my friends, all of us know that uh, accountancy is there in each of the countries worldwide and every country has got their own professional body. If you look at India, we have got Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. If you go to UK, you have ICAEW, right? If you go to Australia, you have CA Australia in New Zealand. If you go to US, you have CPA, which is the Certified Public Accountant of USA. The best part with CPA is that you are a CPA across the world. So if you have done it from, say, New York or, say, from uh, UK, London, or maybe in Sydney or, say, New Delhi or Chennai, you are a CPA across the world. You are not a CPA for a particular country. The other advantage is that if we look at AICPA, the Association of International Certified Public Accountant, this is the largest professional body in the world. There are more than 4,55,000 professionals who are already CPAs like you, who are present in 196 plus countries. This qualification brings in a lot of opportunities for you in terms of your career, because what has happened is majority of the jobs which were there outside India for accounting and finance roles have actually come to India. And these jobs have come to the cities which are very close to us. We are sitting in Chennai. We've got more jobs here. Talk about, say, Gurgaon or Delhi or Noida or Bangalore or, say, Hyderabad, Calcutta. All these locations have got jobs. Interestingly, Pankaj, we have got more jobs and less number of people to apply those, to those jobs, right? So the employability factor works really well here. What this qualification does is that it not only provides you with the employment which you actually look forward to or the career you look forward to, it also prepares you and gives you that ability to pick up that job, which is available in the market. 
So what we'll do is that together, Liba and Becker, right, and FinTram, we are going to ensure that we create that capability in you so that you're able to pick up the right jobs in the markets. Now, not only getting into the job, because when we talk about jobs and careers, what happens is people always con confuse career with a job, right? So, for example, Pankaj, right, you are a manager today. And 20 years later, I meet you and I ask you, what do you do? I'm and a still, still manager. Still a manager, right? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> then it's a yeah. job. It's not a career for you, right? But then 20 years later, when I ask you that, what are you doing? And you say that I'm the CFO of XYZ organization. That means you have progress and that's what is a career all about. So the CPA qualification will ensure that we give you the right careers. Now with Becker, what we'll ensure is that we will prepare you in the right perspective because our software or the LMS has been created in such a way that we use artificial intelligence, right? And we actually tell you that or ask you that, okay, how do you want to study? Now, it's not about we telling you that you should study in this way. We ask you that how you would like to study. So it is more about teaching and learning process together. And then the system will tell you that if you're actually not ready for the exam, then you should not write the exam. Should not go. Yeah. So that's what we do. And we ensure that, yes, the students are able to complete the qualification. So there's end-to-end -end support. They start as a student, pass out as an employer of a good organization, and later on, they become alum alumni for life for Liba, Becker, and Fintram together. Yeah. And I think you very well picked up, Christian, on that. Who can be a better person to tell you how CPA can take your career to a very different level when Pankaj Dingra is sitting over here? Because I have seen this for myself. You know, how much you can grow with an international qualification like CPA. Sky is the limit, my friend. No company can say, you know, if you have qualifications like this, because every one of them needs it. All right. Coming on to uh, Professor Xavier again. And, you know, I, I do want to talk on one of the typical model that is very much famous from the Liba fraternity. And, you know, I was talking to somebody in Liba and, you know, this question came up over there. So I just captured it saying that Liba is one of the top business schools. We all know that. And of course, many of industry colleagues, you know, have very high regard for Liba and we can vouch for that. They do have a very much awareness around the Liba's TLA's framework. And to for the folks who are not aware of what TLA means, it's teaching, learning and assessment kind of a model that Liba has really come up with. Now, can you just comment on the TLA uh, you know, process for this new program? Yeah, sure, Pankaj. You see, before I get into the TLA, I think uh, for those who are not... Uh, fully aware of what LIBA is, uh, LIBA is a 40-year-old uh, institution, right? And it is part of the famous uh, Loyola College, uh, which is uh, nearing 100 years. And again, LIBA is part of a network of institutions, you know, which are run by the Jesuits. So that includes, you know, the famous institutions like XLRI, St. Xavier's, uh, uh, Calcutta, Loyola College, or St. Joseph's Trichy, and uh, St. Xavier's uh, Mumbai, and all that. In fact, uh, you know, our directors, they become directors of XLRA, XLRA directors come here, so you can understand what kind of an institution we are dealing with. And of course, Loyola alumni, I mean, some of them are, you know, in, uh, 100 year old, so they are all over the world. LIBA alumni are all over the world. So when you go for uh, sometimes, you know, any interview somewhere and say, I am a loyalite, I am a loyal alumni, LIBA alumni, that itself is a big kind of a qualification, you know, to get uh, an offer. So, I mean, you have people to pull you up in all over the place, you know, so that's something you must be aware of. Additionally, of course, program, what we are offering has 24 credits. And uh, this will be offered, uh, you know, in two different modes, you know, 120 hours will be asynchronous, recorded uh, lectures, and then 120 hours will be live classes, right. Now, within this live class itself, you know, uh, we have a hybrid uh, mode. So, what uh, we do is, uh, you will have online classes, you will also have uh, opportunity to have a face-to-face -face, uh, classes and interaction with the LIBA faculty in the, you know, Loyola uh, LIBA campus, right? Of course, you know, you will uh, have to come and visit to see the kind of facilities we have. This is one of the state-of-the-art campus and uh, it has all our classrooms are hybrid classrooms. 
students can attend from home, attend from hostel, teachers can teach from anywhere and uh, it's, a, it's a kind of amazing facility that we have set up in uh, Chennai. I am sure you will all enjoy that. But coming to this particular aspect of you know teaching learning process, uh, for our uh, regular MBA students we have done away with uh, you know the concept of sitting and writing examinations for 2 hours, 3 hours and all that. So, there is no concept of exams in LIBA, but we have a continuous assessment. Throughout uh, the students stay here, they are assessed on many, many uh, small, small activities. Whatever field work they do, whatever presentation they do, on every aspect they are assessed. Now, this unique method of assessment is liked by the industry also. They say that our students are well rounded. They are not just focusing on, for example, you know, mugging up, clearing the exam, you know, getting the rank, you know, none of that. They are now lot more focused on learning, getting the fundas and uh, really becoming better, right. The other thing is because of our, uh, you know, multiple ways of assessing students on a daily basis, they are uh, well developed. So, they have, they become extremely good in communication, creativity. So, they learn by themselves, they learn by doing. Now, these are things which are, uh, you know, people are talking about, but you have to come here to believe, you know, how we teach. So, you will have case studies, you will have activities, it is uh, action based uh, learning and so on so forth. So, you should uh, basically, you know, uh, come here to experience, you know, what it is. So, I am sure uh, I will see most of you here in the campus enrolling for the program. I am sure Pankaj will do the uh, little more, uh, uh, you know, uh, push on the, for example, what is really with us, right? So, it is something we do not have to market. You have to come and see to believe what actually, you know, LIBA has to offer for you. Look forward to having you here. Thank you. So, see. International course, such a wonderful, sexy qualification with LIBA and then there are no exams. What is more that is needed? Nothing. Hear it out more. We have a lot more coming. You know, coming on to uh, uh, you, Aziz, you know, one thing that really comes up to my mind while I was talking to Professor Xavier uh, is on the employer side of it. So, you know, Becker being a, you know, a versatile international brand and and such a global, uh, globally present company, uh, having students around the world. What is that that you're observing with respect to employers? Uh, the demand, the need, uh, the kind of talent that they're looking forward to, and how does our course fits in the bill? I think this is also a really critical point about the CPA qualification itself. And it kind of touches itself a little bit in terms of what I guess, Professor Xavier, what you're describing here about what LIBA is doing with their own qualifications. It is not something about studying for the last three months before the exam or two weeks before the exam and learning these things which you can just write down or type down. The CPA exam is about understanding, understanding the fundamentals and being able to apply those concepts and theories. It's not going to be a simple answer of questions. You have the questions that you get asked in the CPA exam are testing your understanding and your ability to apply them in real life scenarios. That's what stands that CPA qualification out from other qualifications. It is, I believe, Professor Xavier, Absolutely. very much the concept which Libra is trying to yeah. um, do with their own TLA. Okay. And that is also then, Pankaj, the reason why that qualification is so in demand. Hmm. True. Not only is it that, yes, you are getting U.S. GAP, U.S. tax knowledge, which you cannot get from other qualifications, other professional qualifications. And as you were describing, Christian, the number of uh, the, the supply and demand, there's a huge gap right now between the supply and demand, which incidentally, as we all know about the supply and demand curve, what that means for price and salary right now is very much the case in India. But really from an employer's perspective, Pankaj, that mixture of having the professional qualification, the CPA qualification, the domain knowledge that comes from it, the understanding that those employers have more and more that that individual is not just rote learned 
X amount of things mm. for finance, for accounting and these subjects. And now on top of that, the added layer of having that complete holistic education from a Libra perspective as well is what's going to stand out you from the crowd completely. So I hope that answers your question. Yes, Prabhupada. indeed. Thank you. So if you're thinking about taking to your career to the next level, you heard what Aziz just said. Do not forget that. Coming on to uh, you, uh, Dr. Kunal, uh, I think one aspect which is very much there in this program is that we have two campus immersions, right? Now, campus immersions looks very, you know, very much inviting in terms of, you know, yes, I really want to go there, I really want to see. But one thing that many of the students may have in their mind, and so does me, that what is there in campus immersions? Why campus immersions and what is that that I can expect as a student from the campus immersions? Thanks, Pankaj. Uh, what we find uh, for the campus immersion program, because uh, once the uh, students are getting to CPA or LIBA, and once they want to part of uh, LIBA El Munai fraternity, so we have to handhold. They have to believe that, okay, that four decades are the six decades of the marriage that they have done it, that has to be fructified here. So uh, what they f uh, find in this uh, two campus immersion, they will get uh, that uh, all the financial and business analytic tools and the experts on the doubt solving sessions, not in the virtual, it is in the face to face. And uh, that is one to one mentoring session with the professors. So that is the USP. Oh, yes. So once you are uh, being in the campus and as a student, you are living in my uh, student hostel, live a hostel, then you will be feel a part of a student community. And then uh, we will, uh, certainly you will carry it out with the professor and the exuberance of all the energy of the uh, schools, that uh, mm -hmm. whatever we find in the school environment. And then networking opportunity with peers because that is the prime USP of this course. Because wherever you go, if finally your mentors, your professors, industry experts, once you are meeting with them, then it will carry the, that okay, we are the part of this batch, of this alumni, and then we are hand-holding you that, that kind of tag, that you are the Loyola alumni, not Leva, because Loyola is the fraternity, we are the uh, uh, son of that parents only. Yeah. Okay, so the leadership and soft skill development through group assignments and activities, and in short, what we will say that when you will come into the Liva campus, we always say Liva is not Loyola Institute of Business Administration. It is life is beyond awesome. So you just come and take it. Awesome. And uh, grab that opportunity. So <laughs> Thank we you. are welcoming you. Please come and see it and believe it, what we are telling right now. Thank you very much, uh, sir. I think it was it was a wonderful close on that front. You know, one thing I can tell you uh, to all the accountants, and I am, you know, one of it. We accountants do not have any alumni anywhere. And I can tell you, after being into various business schools and talking to, you know, like sirs and the professors of the worlds, I can tell you, there is something we have missed, my friend. There is something we have surely missed. And we have somewhat somewhere missed the bus. It is time to catch it again. It is coming your way. Think about it. All right. Coming on to the last question. I know in the, in the best interest of all my uh, colleagues over here, I just had a last one for you. And I don't want to miss on that because many of the students are staring at me that have I missed on it? No, sir. I have not. I'm coming on to it. The question that I have for you is, mm -hmm. why should they believe on Becker for doing their CPA? What is that that Becker brings on table for them? What is the faith that they can really live forward to and, of course, move forward to Becker in terms of thinking through their careers? Thank you so much, Pankaj, for asking me this question. I think it is really very important for us to know that Becker is synonymous to CPA right, across the world. In fact, more than one million plus students have so shown faith on Becker to pursue their CPA qualification. The organization has been teaching the students since 1959, as, as he's mentioned, 60 years old. You said six decades. I would say six decade or 60 years young organization. Why young? Obviously, we uh, are very much passionate about your careers as you are passionate about your careers yourself. Right? We are very innovative. As students, you are also very innovative. We are very creative. 
and we have ensured that we bring that creativity throughout uh, the qualification. And the good part is that Becker has always embraced the new technologies. Now, I can tell you that Becker used to teach the students face-to-face, -face, right? For a good number of years, 15 years back, we decided to move online. And that's the way in which we have been able to actually cater to the students worldwide. Now, do you know that there is an award called, uh, called Watsell's Award? Yes, right? yes I do. It is a Watsell's Award. In fact, the majority of the students who qualify in CPA, right, they receive that award. And majority of the students who are from Becker, they receive that award. Oh, it actually yes. is the testimony of Becker's uh, teaching and the way in which they actually provide that pedagogy to the students. In addition to that, I can tell you one more very interesting fact that when we look at any of the professional accounting courses worldwide, what is the passing percentages, right? And then if you look at our exam day ready data, right, we provide 94% passing rates in mm -hmm. through Becker, which is the highest across the globe, right? So you can imagine, and you are yourself uh, a student, uh, Pankaj, of Becker and a faculty of Becker. So I think you can vouch for it yourself. But what we want to tell you, the students, is that, yes, the marriage which we spoke about, Liba and uh, Becker together, has actually created an opportunity for all of you, all the students uh, who are looking forward to a career in the field of accounting and finance. So it will make you a very strong public accountant and also a very strong person who has got the knowledge towards international finance. So practically what will happen is you will not only become a good professional, you will also become a good person who can actually contribute to the society in the long run. So we are looking forward to you doing that and we welcome you to be part of this wonderful family. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think it is very well answered. I honestly could have answered to the students on my own being a student of Becker. But I really wanted this to come from, you know, your side. One thing I can tell you from my side, my friend, and I, as, I, as Christian rightly mentioned, I had been the student of Becker and, you know, I did my CPA because of Becker. I still owe them in terms of, you know, what they really bought on table and the content and the, uh, I would say, anything and everything that you get as part of the overall curriculum is simply out of the world. And I am not saying this just on my behalf. I'm also saying this on the behalf of so many students that I have been teaching and they are now qualified CPAs in themselves and working as the CEOs, CFOs, CMOs, CPOs, whatsoever you may want to call it around the world. So go for it, my friend. You still have little more to bear with me. All right. This effectively brings uh, me towards the end. Uh, and um, all I can tell you that, you know, I'm... I'm honored to be here and share the, share the dais with you. Uh, to all the panelists, I'm really, really privileged to know you personally. And, uh, you know, hearing you today was, you know, was the music to the ears. And, of course, I'm sure we would have been able to give the value and the answers to all of the questions that student really had. Towards the end, I really want to thank you all. And uh, I hope I have answered everything, students. If not... If you still have any confusion, you know, you can reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to answer any and every concern that you may have. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.